Hi, welcome to today's segment. Today we'll be doing something different. Today we'll be talking about breastfeeding. Breastfeeding, not necessarily breastfeeding, how to breastfeed, uh, the techniques of breastfeeding and all those things. I'm really not into all that. What we'll be talking about today is the quality of breast milk and how we can give our breast milk a very amazing quality that will be good for our babies. Um, something actually entered into my eyes and I had to get that one out. All right. Today we'll be talking about breast milk. I mean, what's the relationship between breast milk and somebody who does food hacks and all those things? Well, the reason why I'm talking about it today is because there's a particular kind of food that you can take to improve the quality of your breast milk. Now, I didn't try this out initially when I was having kids, but when I had the last one, I did it and it was really really amazing she was always full she was plumpy she was healthier she was barely ill and it was just because I adopted just two spices to help myself and I had to take it judiciously without grudges without pain without I just didn't pay attention to so many things because I knew what I was looking for now one on the list of spices is fenugreek if you've heard about fenugreek, keep seeing fenugreek pills, fenugreek uh, supplements and all that. Yes, you have that. But there's nothing different from the fenugreek supplements, which is in a capsule. And uh, I mean, it's not different from the normal fenugreek you have in the market. You know, fenugreek is actually a spice. It's a spice from India and from Asia, but we have it here. Well, you can actually find it in some Asian stores and you can actually get it in whatever, wherever you can. You can get it wherever in Nigeria. Just go ahead and look for it. If you don't know how to get it, I can always get you a source to get fenugreek. So back to what we're saying. Fenugreek is really amazing for you as a woman. It's, um, it improves your estrogen level, meaning you shouldn't take it. Um, you should take it sparingly. I must advise that, especially if you are taking medications to slash down your your production of estrogen. Because um, I'm aware that overproduction of estrogen can actually lead to certain kind of cancers like breast cancer and all those things. So it's something you take in moderation. So fenugreek is really amazing. It's really good for breast milk production. Research has it that fenugreek can help a woman to produce breast milk which is five times the the do i say amount or five times the amount of production that you would have done in uh, on a normal day you know some people feel they can actually take the likes of pap palm wine and all that things to stimulate breast milk but those things make you big but there are certain things you can take just apparently in small quantity not necessarily daily every other every other day or you can even take it every other day for some time and then withdraw because it's already started what it's doing and if you experience a low a, 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 a do i say uh, a slash in supply you take it again and take it again and then it improves again yes fenugreek is really really good one it makes the quality of your breast milk very amazing it can be as thick as Pig milk, <laughs> evaporated milk. Let me use the word pig milk for those of us who are in Nigeria. Evaporated milk can be that thick. Imagine your breast milk being that thick. Secondly, it makes it sweet. And then you'll be like, ah, how does it make it sweet? <laughs> My son is behind the camera. He's like, hmm, yes. He told me some time ago when I was when I just had his little sister that um, I mean, what does breast milk really taste like? Because he only suckled for just four months and he has been curious uh, i only had breast milk for one month i keep hearing this story uh, because <laughs> i keep hearing the story that i didn't stop for a very long time okay mommy i want to know what it feels like can you please give me a little of it yes i actually expressed and i gave him one like oh this thing is very sweet why did i pick it for four months and i'm like ah, sweet i keep hearing that breast milk is not sweet so what is so sweet about the whole thing and may i not lie to you i had the curiosity and i had to keep on my like this it was it was sweet Originally, people will tell you breast milk. I wonder why children enjoy breast milk. It's not sweet. You know, with that, it helped my breast milk to be sweet. You know, and 
another thing that fenugreek could do for you as a woman is that it's going to make your skin to be really supple and fresh it will um do i say improve your complexion and puts you in a very good mood it makes you energetic you will not be so cranky tired and all that so that's when you take it judiciously seriously you know you don't just do a thing and just expect um do i say a result in the next minute the what the only result you're going to get almost the next minute is the improvements in the flow of your breast so and um now let's go to fennel fennel is known as the woman's spice that's the name it's the woman's spice to start with fennel is mint meaning it's something that you want to always put in your mouth and you take your walk fenugreek on the other hand tastes like a little bit like uh like beans like beans just like you can roll beans and not everybody can tolerate that and it might make your urine in case of men to smell like maple syrup you know and it's not a big deal if you can handle it it's not the except you're really sensitive but fennel on the other hand is amazing for people who have respiratory issues you know it's not as if it's one magical spice no it just makes you comfy it makes you comfy you know and um it's minty it's good for if you have cough and all those things it's really good and for those who have, um, do I say, those who have, um, um, yes, one thing it does for your baby, before I forget what fennel does for your baby, if your baby has colic, fennel is really, in fact, in the, in the early ages, according to research, they actually make fennel tea and drop into the baby's mouth, into the baby's mouth, to prevent the child from colic. But I cannot experiment that. So I will rather chew the fennel and then the child breastfeeds. <laughs> you know, but if you have the nerves, you can go ahead and do it. You know, we can just make more, do more research to know the amounts that the child will require for colic. I cannot say that, except I go further into that. But one thing I know is the fact that it helps the woman. It makes you happier, makes you fresher. If there are um, issues that you would normally face after breastfeeding you feel very much at ease with fennel easy to take you can make a tea out of it you can just chew go your way you know and for women who are experiencing menopause in your premenopausal period when you're facing one uh this one is aching me the other one is happening to me my head is aching my legs are aching and all this is, it makes you very much at ease a woman who is menopausal and takes fennel will just feel very much like a younger person if you take fennel tea regularly i know a lot of people might want to adopt taking green tea and uh, all sort of brands that claim to be very good i'm not saying they're not good but just fennel tea hello <laughs> don't leave fennel tea out of the recipe it is really really amazing both for men for women but it is generally called a woman's spice because anything that has to do with a woman's hormonal issue uh, hormonal imbalance hormonal changes hormonal everything Fennel is just amazing for that and really good for your baby's colic. So if you can breastfeed a child and the child is resolving issues with colic and then you breastfeed a child and the child has a very quality breast milk and I made to understand that those two spices help a child to develop his or her brain very, very well. Not the child developing, they help the child in brain development. And I must testify that my baby, well, not because she's my baby, I'm not saying this because she's my baby, but my baby is actually smart. She talks a lot, she talks like an adult, so maybe, probably because her elder ones are older than her, I don't know. But she really, really expresses herself, she doesn't express herself like her age anywhere, I think. So, I'd advise, why not just give it a trial? I'm not saying give it to your baby directly because I do not adopt that I didn't have the nerves but you can actually try this out if you're a nursing mother and you're wondering I'm not producing so much meal go ahead get fennel get fennel start chewing you can chew you drink water 
you eat your food in the afternoon you do the same thing in the evening you can do the same thing by the time you do it over and again and you find out that you have improved in your quality of supply you can then stop it and then take it some time again and time again it depends on how you can tolerate and that'll be all for now i'll see you in the next video bye